Hello everyone, this is Everlasting and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be watching Blue Lock Season 1 Episode 10. Now last episode we had Team V and Team Z still continuing to battle it out. Now I'm really curious what's gonna happen. They tied and Kunigami, Chigiri, and Bashira scored, right? And we need another goal. So I'm hoping it's gonna be Isagi. I don't know if it's the final goal or what. I just want him to score as well. But yeah, I'm really excited for this. Let's just start now. Oh, go on. Yeah. The strongest team. And they're catching up. You're not playing. I mean, you're playing, but you're not cooperating with them. Cooperating. They're, they have a chance. Oh. Just the way it is. Put some effort in. What? Are you encouraging the opposite team? Shut up. Yeah. You don't have the right to speak. Oh. Mm. Okay. Ah. Uh... Comeback win. I want a comeback win. I'm not their toy. あ、あ、あ、ライチ。ブラッピー。Okay. And Shigeru is handling Zantetsu. But Isagi is behind you. Mm -hmm. The potential. <sighs> yep. If it happens to you, it can also happen to them. 15 minutes. It's doable. It's doable. <laughs> Can he do it? But if we can see, yeah, we're done. We're two goals down. I don't know, one goal down. Raichi? Attack. This donkey. Mm. Which I hate. Oh. <sighs> for 10 minutes, for 10 minutes, can they do it? One more goal, and yeah, after that, they won't be able to come back. Mm. Something's still missing. You haven't figured out your formula? Yeah. Oh. I know, right? Cool one. A backstory for cool one? And then... Oh, we're gonna have a backstory. Will Kuan actually turn into a new leaf in this episode? Impossible. And he was the only one who's motivated enough to go this far. 3-0. Hmm. 
They're not as passionate as you go on. It's not ambition, he just wants to do his best. Uh, we were just playing along. They're not doing it seriously. A weak school. He watched too much anime. Oh, that's good. They're just playing it as a hobby. Over -weary. Ah, that must hurt. That must hurt. So that's why he says he can do it alone. I mean, you are in blue luck right now. They're as passionate as you when it comes to soccer. Mm. He just become, became disillusioned with teammates. A certified athlete. Yeah, he's good at trapping. And he's good at dribbling. Go around. Ooh. What if he doesn't do? Headshot? Oh! Outside the box. I know. No, no, no. Iemon, Iemon, don't, 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 don't. That monster's inspiration. <gasps> oh, his eyes. Someone, please stop this guy. <gasps> Oh! What? <gasps> okay. Go on! Red guard. So he's out. Uh, I mean. <laughs> Mm -hmm. You're off to oh yeah, you have to remember that. Yeah, he sacrificed his mm. We have to do this. Hmm. Or would he go for Zantetsu? I know, right? This is hard. He's gonna score by himself? He's gonna try. Yep. Please, please. Yes, 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 yes. Oh no 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 dance it too dance it too oh no 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 Oh Raichi Raichi nice one from the wall <laughs> Nagi Why 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 <laughs> I'm always nervous if it's his turn <laughs> Oh Chibi ball And then <gasps> And a love no, please, no. And ah, uh, mm. <laughs> Oh, he's trying to get out of it. Please don't end. Please don't end. Please don't end without ending this match. <laughs> Please, please don't end. <gasps> please don't end. Don't, don't, don't. <sighs> Why? Why? Does it make sense for them to do this?
no one probably expected Kuan to do that, right? Uh, I mean, it's been amazing so far, this match, right? Because Team Z has been fighting back 10 versus 11 all this time. And when it came down to the critical point where Nagi's really about to score, Kuan actually joins the fray and actually fouls Nagi off so that... Uh, the team can have another chance, effectively making Kunigami the front runner when it comes to the rankings or the statistics as to who's gonna pass, right? If they ever lose in this game. So basically, that means that Kuon kind of reflect that, right? Uh, he, he realizes that the people in this blue lock area or in this team is as passionate as him, is as hardworking as him, and is as ambitious as him so if he had just pulled through or rather if he had just trusted them earlier if the team w fiasco never happened they probably wouldn't have been in this situation i feel like team w if not without kuan's info they would have fought hard and they would have probably won at the very least or maybe at least i did because i i, I mean even though Kuon kind of did a redemption in here, I still believe, for me, it's still quite unacceptable. If you think about it, the consequences of his actions led them to this kind of desperation. But, I mean, they did gain something through it. Uh, I mean, I I still feel conflicted about him. But thankfully, um, he actually did what he could so that he can make the team actually gain another chance so i i'm just gonna say thank you because that means there's a chance for the whole team to actually survive right <sighs> but yeah um i'm really curious as to what's gonna happen next i mean i never it's been two episodes like this is the longest match i've had in this show probably definitely i never expected us to go past here i thought we're gonna end this episode or rather the match in here in episode 10 but no it's not ending at all like they gave us a cliffhanger once again i mean the back to back to back scoring patterns of Rei reyo and santetsu and nagi really freaked me out and the fact that everyone tried their best to actually hold on it's just so inspiring hopefully they really managed to score i mean I really expect that Isagi to score in this episode because I was basing it off the close, the ending song. But now Kunigami got the top scoring position. And hopefully Isagi, oh no, yeah, yeah, Isagi gets the, um, final score or the final goal, the winning goal maybe. But who would have, I mean, I did say last episode that if Nagi, if anyone from the team, if anyone from the top three players of team v gets an awakening it's gonna prove to be troublesome and it did happen in this one nagi nagi the most troublesome opponent we've had so far i think aside from baro of course but aside from that he's probably the most and he's just starting that's the terrifying thing he's just starting and he's already this good and the fact that he's just started to actually play soccer seriously because he saw that ryu is actually breaking down at the thought of them losing and then he saw that there's more to soccer and that the people who he thought were not good I, were actually fighting them so yeah um please wait i'm sorry about that i just had to <laughs> because suddenly there's sound coming out from the outside so i just had to see what it was it's just the earphone of my mother she fell off from her, from her tablet so the, you guys had to hear that i'm sorry about that but yeah i'm where did I come from? I mean, where where was I? I'm sorry, I I got I blanked out. But yeah, um, I'm really hoping that Isagi will make the final shot and that they win because seriously, we need to have a reconciliation in this. We need to have a reconciliation, um, between the team and Kuon because hopefully this, if they ever win and manage to get past through this, hopefully they'll be able to come. Or at the very least, understand what Squan's thoughts are. Hopefully, they manage to actually reconnect and get along. Who knows? I mean, they're teenage boys. What's, who knows what's gonna happen? <laughs> but yeah, Raichi. 
right? She really proved to be a uh, change in this one. Like he's trying his best to defend, even though he hates it because he's a striker. But then he's they he says he encouraged the team, and that's such a surprising thing. Like I never expected it from him, but. I guess when push comes to show, we just have to try. And he knows that even though he's a striker and he has the capability of scoring, but the tactic that they have were working, right? The three tops with Bachira, right? Bachira, Kunigami, or Chiguri. It's between those three and Gagamaru. Between those four. Uh, it's working. So he knows that even though he wants to become someone in the spotlight, he cannot do it in this uh, game. So he wants to win so that they can have another chance and so it's really nice to see character developments happening from one character to another and hopefully we'll be able to see more of it in the next episode i never expected this episode to end without us knowing the results of this match i really didn't i really didn't but yeah um i really enjoyed this episode i hope you guys did as well i'm sorry for the interruption i hope you guys understand but yeah um Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you all next time. Bye, everyone.